would like to welcome uh, Dr. Sanjeev Hari Bhakti for a very interesting topic on GI surgery. He is an expert on robotic surgery. So this is something very interesting that now people have been talking about. Welcome, sir. Thank you. So I am going to talk on not robotic surgery, but something beyond that. I am going to talk about the future of surgery. I'm sure some of you must have undergone surgery and must have experienced some pain, difficulty in recovery, and all those things. Imagine a surgery where there is no pain, there are no scars, and you recover very fast, go, get back to your work. This is possible, and this is the future of surgery. So this surgery is called the scarless surgery, and scarless surgery is now becoming a reality. Scarlet surgery can be performed through various natural orifices, which have already. So these orifices are either the oral cavity, or the anus, or the vagina, or even the nose and the ears. So these are all the orifices through which surgery can be performed. Some of the procedures are already being performed in parts and in bits and pieces so far. But we are attempting to develop technologies and techniques so that many operations can be performed from the transoral route. So going back 30 years since the laparoscopic surgery or the keyhole surgery developed. I'm a GI surgeon, so I do a lot of laparoscopic surgery. Before that, the surgery was being done as open surgery. I mean, open surgery, it takes a longer time, much more pain. And when laparoscopic surgery developed, this was a major benefit for the patients. Since about 10 to 15 years, the scarless surgery or the notes surgery has been in the research and development phase. However, so far, there has not been much progress in this field. So we have developed a very novel technique, developed some novel ports for doing transoral endoscopic scarless surgery. Our current emphasis is on two main procedures. One of these is called gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD, and the other procedure is obesity. So these two are very, very common lifestyle problems which are faced by a lot of people, not just in countries like India, but even in the developed world. It is estimated that about 25 to 30% of people are affected by acid reflux problems and obesity. So if you can achieve a scarless cure for these patients, it will give a big boost for this patient because many of these are very young people in the prime of their life. So if they have a, you know, a scarless treatment option, it will be a big boon for the society. So with this, for the last two years, we developed several ports, prototypes, and we conducted many animal experiments. And we also did experiments in human cadavers and found that it was feasible to use this kind of ports to perform transoral endoscopic scarless surgery. I have the pleasure that for some of our innovators are in the audience. My mentor, Dr. Shisunda, Mr. Shisunda is also here. So uh, I would like to show you a few clips, short video clips of the two procedures that we have been doing. And this is by the transoral endoscopic uh, surgery, where we create some ports which are placed into the food pipe or the stomach, and then introduce the telescope, which gives us the vision and then introduce some instruments which can help us to take sutures or stitches inside. So far, this kind of technology has not yet been developed. Uh, in our own, so this is about the transoral gastroplication for obesity. What we do here is that we create multiple sti stitches in the stomach to make stomach into a small pouch so that the stomach capacity will reduce. And this will reduce the hunger hormones, which will reduce the appetite and the and, and will reduce cause of weight loss. A similar surgery is done by the laparoscopic method. You can see here how the surgeon sits with a patient in an extended neck position so that the ports can go down and the surgery can be performed with the video guidance or endoscopic techniques. So here what we do is multiple sutures are taken by a device called a suturing device where we take multiple stitches in the stomach to cause plication of the stomach, essentially to reduce the capacity of the stomach. The same procedure when we do it at laparoscopic today, 
It is the gold standard of laparoscopic bariatric surgery. And we, this operation is called the gastric sleeve operation. So this is a very similar operation to the gastric sleeve. In gastric sleeve, we cause stapling, whereas here we do suturing and create a small gastric reservoir. So essentially, the principles are the same, and the result will also be quite similar. So this is a big boon for these patients because there won't be any scars, there won't be any pain, there won't be any scar-related problems like wound infections or hernias, and cosmetically also it will be a boon for the patient because there won't be any proof that ever some surgery or procedure has been done. So the other procedure that we are doing is for a condition called gastroesophageal reflux disease or hiatus hernia, which is a very common problem, which causes reflux of gas, acidity, burning, heartburn, and regurgitation. Here what we do is we create an artificial high-pressure zone at the junction of the esophagus and the stomach, whereby the reflux can be prevented. So here also similarly, the with the ports and the placements into the food pipe, we take few sutures, at least three stitches, so that we fold the stomach with the food pipe or the esophagus and create kind of an anti-reflux barrier. So this will prevent reflux. So what you could see is that there's a stitch which is passing through the stomach and the stitch will also pass from the food pipe or the esophagus at the junction of the food pipe and the stomach. So taking three or four such sutures will cause an angulation of the stomach with the esophagus and we create kind of an anti-reflux barrier so that the acid from the stomach will not come up into the food pipe. So this will give a completely a scarless treatment for these patients and in future these patients can be immensely benefited by a one-time procedure. They don't have to take lifelong medical treatment which can be hazardous which has its own side effects and they can avoid a laparoscopic or a keyhole surgery which is currently the standard of care for these kind of patients where we do a laparoscopic fundoplication and the same procedure can now be performed by the transoral scarless route. So these two procedures can be a big boon to patients and currently for the last two years we have conducted several animal uh, experiments and we have also done some human cadaver studies. We still have to develop some better prototypes. We're developing some newer prototypes now, and then we will go to human trials. And I hope that in uh, up about three to five years, we'll come to you know the the clinical uh, uh, studies and you know clinical use of these prototypes, which can help a large number of patients. So thank you very much. Thank you, sir for an insight in the something called uh, gastroenterology. <laughs> so to honor uh, him and you know, I'd like Pankaji to please come and give a, a token of memento.